Welcome to Make Your Own Date Filters. Hey, I'm Eric. And um, in Business Central, we have the ability to set filters. And, and as soon as we're working with dates, we get some extra functionality in the filter setting. We get the ability to, um, to type stuff that is not a, a date to begin with, but that turns into a date. Um, let me show you real quick. Here is, I'm actually already filtered. Um, so here are my uh, general ledger entries. And you know, I can type tomorrow into the field, tap out of this, and you can see the filter is set for tomorrow. There's nothing on it. I could type W for work date. So that is actually the date we have in here in, in settings. I could type uh, Tuesday for a Tuesday related to the work date. I could type week and I get the current week we're in. Um, so, so there are some different words that you can type uh, and uh, they have different functionality. Um, uh, shameless plug my Business Central field guide book. There is a whole page with examples of some of these and um, they're great I use them a lot but sometimes you may end up in a situation where a customer asks that they have some special days or something that they want to do and it, it's a pain in the uh, to actually type that in so they're asking if you to uh, to help them and, and a very, I've seen this a lot, that then you get a function up here that says set fancy filters and it will set the filters. But there's actually a different, a, not, I don't, I don't want to say a better way, but there is a, another way of doing this. Um, and that's what I'm going to show you here. So um, I have already created a new extension with a empty code unit. And in this case, I want to subscribe to an event. And yeah, it's a code unit I want to subscribe to. And the code unit I want to subscribe to is called something with token. It's called filter tokens. So Maybe if you've seen my video on the uh, the AL compiler, you have, I have talked about tokens, which are basically the singular pieces that makes up a a, a set of a programming line of a, a line in in a program language. If you break it down, then you have the specific pieces that are called tokens. It's the same concept here. So whenever we're doing something filter wise, all this. The, the different things in the filter. So if I do three till five here, there are three tokens. The, the three is a token, dot dot is a token, and five is a token. So as soon as I tap out of that, uh, let's see if we can do that again, and I do it in actually in the filter field. As soon as I tap out of that, we'll actually get a filter from the third to the fifth relatively to the work date. So what this event will do is that are actually there are different events, but uh, the one that we're interested in is the one that's called on resolve uh, date uh, on resolve date filter token. Uh, and we're not interested in elements and we're just gonna say skip on missing license skip on permissions okay so in this guy oh let's see uh, my filter what we get we get a token and there's a var from date, there's a var to date, and whoops, semicolon, there's a var handled. So the idea is that if you type 
into a, a filter. You type something uh, party and we tap out. The system does not know what party is. Um, but it will ask this events before fail. So we could do something about um, uh, let's let's actually see what happens here. So we could do a very simple saying if date token uh, to lower. So let's make sure that we are not case sensitive in any way. Equal party. Then let's do begin end. Say from date is equal uh, today plus 10. And to date is equal today plus 12. It's a long party. And we're going to say the handle is true because we actually handled this. Let's see how that looks. Um, so we will add a filter for posting date and let's actually put a breakpoint here. So I will say party, tap out and we can see that we got a break here. So we are into our event. That's great. Let's look at the parameters. So date token, it's body from date. Is nothing, two data is nothing, a handle is false. We can also see them up here. So if we didn't do anything, then we will never say handle true. But in this case, we are going to do from day is something and handle uh, two days and else. A handle is okay. So I hit a five. We go back and now we have the filter. So in this case, I gave it two different dates. Um, let's say that this is a cheaper party. So in this case, let's say a true date, two date, two date, that's hard to say, is equal from date. So I'm giving the same date in both of them. And, and let's also check another thing uh, before. So we will filter our list again, posting date. In this case, we're going to say clean up. When is clean up? I tab out. We get the, this one. Date token is clearly not party. So we're exiting out of the function without setting handle to true. We're getting called again. Let's see what we're called with now. Clean up. It's going to call it twice, apparently. That's okay. We can deal with that. There we go. So the filter cleanup is not valid. Okay. Um, but let's try party now. And I'll just hit a five here because, and we just get a single day. So if, if, from date and to date are different, it will be returned as a range is if you return the same date, it will just be a single date. So we could now do today till party. And so in this case, it's the same token that's get called in here. Let's just remove this one. So now we get today till party. Um, and we are not necessarily limited to, you know, simple things here. This is just AL code. So we would have the option of, um, of, you know, looking at schedules for something. So you can set a filter from today until the last day that we have something planned or from the last day we have planned and in the future or stuff like that. So you, you can have a 
a filter function that is is dynamic based on your own data. So in case you have something that that looks at information in your system and when something is happening, uh, you can set date filters from that. So it's a great little uh, event and, and there's lots of stuff you can do it. What we can let, let me show if I go down and just you know, I do this because now we just looked at one. Um, but there were actually other events in here. Another one is, it's kind of the same, but in this case, we're working with a date time field. So it's slightly different. There's also time and with date time, and then there's just a text filter. Uh, so you have the, wow. Something is flying. Wow. Um, so we, we can do the exact same thing. Same principle. Quite, I find, I think I have mainly had to use this with dates. So that's why I chose the date to, uh, to be the example here. Um, and it, it's just a very, very unique way of, of giving your users uh, and in reality, this is a power user function because filters are harder for, for, for new users. It, it takes a bit of time to truly understand the power of filters. Um, the filters are uh, truly a power user function. That's the, actually, I've just, I just thought of one thing. I want to make sure that, oops, let's go back to this guy. So not in this case, we said today till party. Uh, it's get resolved. Um, so let's save this one. Today to the party. And let's actually uh, let's actually just deploy again and, and, and let's see what happens when we reopen this one and just select the save filter because that's also quite interesting. Uh, so hang on here, we are deploying. So now I'm opening a page, I get all. Let's select today to the party. Okay, we got a breakpoint and we can see that it's not the resolved dates that are saved in the view. It's actually the raw. So let's take a look and now we can see that that's the date filler that has been set in today to the party. So even though it looks like what we're saving is the date that's on the screen here, it's not. It's actually as soon as you click on it and you see the real filter, that's what's saved. So. In case of something dynamic and you have it saved, it will not be saving the state of the filter at that point when you saved it, but it will work with moving to new dates depending on how your code is running. Anyway, sorry, I forgot to mention that little thing. So that's a way to extend your filters and give your users a, a very powerful way of uh, uh, of setting filters. Um, let me know in com comments below if this is something that you already have used or if this is something that's uh, interesting. Also interested in, in, in knowing are your users actually using the just the built-in, uh, you know, you can type weak and you can type all. Let me just remove that breakpoint here. Uh, I'm switching back and you can, you can, you can type you can type week or you can type, you know, current month or minus current month for the first. There's a bunch of things. Are your users using that? Is it too hard to discover? Um, or do they need a book? Anyway, um, sorry, I gotta promote it sometimes. Those are date token filters, um, date filter tokens. I hope you enjoyed that. Try it out and let me know in the comments how it goes. Until next time, have a wonderful day. Stay safe and I'll see you soon.